girls and boys, today we're going to read Nuffle Bunny. We've read it before to study characters, but today we're going to read this again, and we're going to think about setting. The setting is where the story happens. We're going to think about the main setting. The same way that a book has a main character that's on almost every page, the main setting is where they spend most of their time. The setting is where the story happens, and the main setting is where most of the story happens. It's the one that we're in most of the time on the pages. Let's read and find out what the main setting is for this book. Nuffle Bunny. Nuffle Bunny by Mo Willems. Not very long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. So I see they're in front of the house. Trixie and her daddy went down the street and through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Did they spend very much time on the street or going past the school or going through the park? No, they didn't spend very much time there. Let's see if they spend more time at the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the washing into the machine. She was even allowed to put the money into the machine Then they left. They stayed in that laundromat for a while, didn't they? But on the way home, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clabble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Blabble, said Trixie again. Blaggle plabble. Won't be flappy? Snurp. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. She went boneless. Now while all of this is happening, where are they? Where is this part of the story happening? outside on the sidewalk. So whether they're outside her house, outside the school, or going through the park, they're pretty much always outside walking. She did everything to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Nuffle Bunny? The whole family ran down the street, and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. So they're back at the laundromat. They didn't spend very much time outside on the sidewalk or at the park. They're back at the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked. Wow, they must have spent a long time at that laundromat. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until Nuffle Bunny! She spoke, she used real words. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. And where did she say them? Look at those washers behind her. At the laundromat. Where did most of this story happen? Did most of the story happen outside? Or did most of the story happen at the laundromat? You're right, most of the story happened at the laundromat. 
That's the main setting for this book. Remember, setting means where the story happens. Thank you for reading with me today.